Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube. Eli Fishman Sports, back with another interview today. I'm happy to be joined by former Houston Astros and Philadelphia Phillies prospect Albert Cartwright. Albert, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Pleasure having you on. You were selected twice in the Major League Baseball draft, but didn't sign until the second year you were drafted when you were selected by the Astros. Can you tell me about your chaotic experience in the MLB draft? Uh, well, well, first year I was out of high school, so it was all it was all new to me and all fresh. Um, and they wanted to send me to uh, Dominican Summer League, but I don't speak any Spanish, so I was kind of scared to go down to Dominican. So I decided to go to college for one more year, and I was fortunate enough to be drafted again. In 2007, you made your professional debut uh, when, with the Greenville Astros, you got your first hit in your first game against the Burlington Bees. Can you tell me about that first game? Uh, it, it was it was definitely a nerve-wracking experience um, going from college to pro ball um, but um, it was it was a lot of emotions because I, I grew up as a young boy I just wanted to play professional baseball and got the opportunity and finally got the first hit. You played up to double A with the Houston Astros organization obviously a very great organization with many of the best players in baseball how'd you like playing for them? Uh, it was nice I mean every organization is pretty much different um, the Houston Astros uh, traded for me in 2010 so we made that home and it was a good experience. As you said, in 2000, after, before the 2011 season, 2010, you were traded to the Philadelphia Phillies for a pitching prospect. How did it feel to go to a new team? Uh, it was definitely, it was definitely different because I was at home. Um, I actually, my agent called me and he told me I've been traded, and, and it was a lot of mixed emotions because I, I was a Houston Astros and I didn't had no idea I would have been traded. Um, I was traded for a guy who pitched in the big leagues for two years before uh, getting sent back down, but um, it was definitely nerve wracking experience. Um, and it was, it was nice because uh, someone actually traded for you, I mean, they really like you. So you played m uh, many years in the Philadelphia Phillies organization and played up to double-A the Redding, with the Redding Fighting Phils. And in 2013 and 14 with the Phils, uh, you were named to the Eastern League All-Star Game. How did it feel to be in the All-Star Game with all these big names? It, it was nice, man, just being in the All-Star Game, being selected uh, two years in a row in double-A. Um, but being with, being with the guys that are playing in the major leagues right now, and it was definitely a great experience just to be uh, one of the few selected that year in the All-Star Game. In 2012 and 2014, with the Phillies, you were invited to big league spring training, and you played in multiple games uh, with the big league club. What, what was it like up uh, in Clearwater, Florida with the big league team? Uh, it, was, it was definitely different. I mean, you got guys who you watch on TV for years, and, and basically you're going out on the field with them uh, just, just doing our... our Pretty much fundamental routine every day. Um, it was definitely a good experience to learn from some of the guys there, and uh, I mean, I, I I took it for granted at the time, but uh, now looking back, it's, it's definitely a great experience. Right now, you're with the Ottawa Champions in your second year in the Canadian American Baseball League Independent. How do you like indie ball so far with the champs? Uh, I mean, baseball is baseball. I mean, uh, they treat me they treat me well over here. Um, we're playing good baseball right now, so hopefully we can continue going, and hopefully we can make it to the playoffs and go far. You've had an outstanding career so far, eight seasons, a lot of success in minor league baseball. What's been the best moment? Um, just being able to play every day. I mean, when the game's taken away, it's, it's pretty much done for, 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 for life. I mean, so just being able to go on in the field every day and just enjoy every moment of it. All right, thanks so much. Thank you.